What's going on guys, J Kun Prime here with another Marvel's Avengers video, but this one's going to be very, very different. This is more of a tech support video, more specifically for those that are playing the game on PC. Now, there was a day one patch on Friday that helped a lot of the issues, but the biggest issue that the PC version is encountering is a massive memory leak while things are getting a little hectic in the game, it's causing the CPU to spike up astronomically high, and it ultimately crashes the game. So, I tried out something, and it wound up working, and almost working perfectly. Now, full disclosure, do not take this as an instant cure-all. This is just what I did and what worked for me. Now, I don't have the world's most powerful PC. I don't have a bad one, but it's not some $10,000 behemoth of a PC. It's kind of a mid-grade deal, so while I can't promise that this tactic will work for you, it's worth giving a shot, and it's absolutely no, no risk whatsoever. So one of the first things you're going to want to do is number one, you're going to want to go over to your PC settings and you want to want to type in background and you're going to want to go to background apps. Turn this off. Turn all of that off. Don't have anything running in the background. Next up, you are going to want to go to this site right here, WJ32, and don't worry, I'll post a link for it down in the description below, and you're going to want to download this empty standby list EXE. You're going to want to go ahead and download that, find it wherever it is in your folders, and you are then going to want to go over to your C drive, and you're going to want to create a brand new folder. As you can see, I've already done this, I just made it empty standby memory, and you're going to download that file that you get from this website and you're going to put it in here from there and make sure that you follow these steps to the letter I cannot stress that enough so you're going to find this executable you're going to go to properties and then you're going to go to compatibility you're going to want to make sure that this is running at administrator definitely make sure that is checked so from there you got that all taken care of we're going to go to our start menu again and you're going to want to go to your task scheduler. So from here in the task scheduler, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to create task. You're going to want to go to change user group. Actually, uh, no, I did it right. You're going to want to click advanced, find now. You're going to want to find the one that says system, and that's going to be the one that you want to use. You can hit OK there. You're going to want this hidden and to run with highest privileges. From there, you're going to go to triggers, new, and you're going to want this, and you can set this timer to whatever you want. I personally have it running about every 30 minutes if you feel like you need to do it more frequently or if you just want to do it every hour, that is completely up to your discretion. But you're going to want to repeat the task for a set amount of time and then you're going to want to set the duration to indefinitely. And from there you can just hit OK. You don't have to worry about anything else. From there, you're going to want to go to Actions, hit New, and you're going to find that executable that you put in that new folder in your C drive, and you're going to select that. So basically what this is, and I'm going to pull up my task manager so you can see this. Basically what you're going to be doing is your uh, open resource monitor. Here we go. So here is your physical memory. So you have the gray area, which is hardware reserved, your memory that is currently in use, memory that's modified, and memory on standby. And then you have all this free memory here. 
So when the memory leak happens, anytime you do anything in your computer, and I, I do apologize ahead of time, I'm not a big tech head, so I may get some of this terminology wrong or an explanation wrong, but truth be told, this is what worked for me, so this is what I'm trying to record. All of this is going to start getting used up as you turn on OBS, you turn on Google Chrome, you start playing the game. And when that memory leak happens, if all of this free memory is taken up by standby, then the game has nowhere to grab memory from, and that's what causes all the issues, and then boom, your game crashes. So what this instance is going to be doing for you is it's going to be dumping the cache of used standby memory after a set amount of time. That way, if a memory leak on the PC version of Avengers does happen, there's still ample memory to grab onto because the system is running an instance in the background that is continuously freeing up that memory for you. Now, I did this, I ran the game around medium to medium high settings. I only ran the frame rate at around uh, 60 frames per second. <coughs> any major upgrades, like any of the Intel upgrades, Teslization, all that different type of stuff, I had all that turned off. And it maintained my CPU, which my CPU is an i7-8700. Uh, by no means a bad processor at all. What was normally running in the high 80s, 90s to 100 had consistently been staying around the 40 to 70 percentile, no matter how hectic the game got. And I will definitely take that over it, constantly shooting it up to 100% and crashing my game, because this was a big thing that was just driving me absolutely nuts. So if you follow the actions that I just showed you here on this video, I can't promise it's going to be an instant cure-all, but it may very well work for you. Thank you very much for watching. If you could leave a like rating on the video, I'd greatly appreciate it. It shows your support, and it really helps the channel out. And if you want to catch any of the Avengers action live, be sure to head over to twitch.tv slash Prime, where we're playing Avengers probably right now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you later.